ultimately what President Trump said is, let's go with option D. Let's just halt. Let's just pause the voting and allow the state legislatures to take one last look and make a determination as to the as to whether or not the elections yeah. were handled fairly. That's constitutional law. That's not an issue of, of criminal activity. Well, that's actually an admission. You can say something wow. is not criminal, but that doesn't make it true. That's Donald Trump's attorney in the 2020 election case seeming to admit that the former president did exactly what he is accused of really, doing. All he wanted to do is impede like, the counting of electoral votes. Take all, away he, people's rights. all he wanted to do is impede a, a process that's, well, it's stated there in the Constitution. That's all he wanted. All he, be like a bankrupt and say, all I wanted to do is rob a bank. Take all the money. I mean, this is exactly what he's charged for. And he admitted it. Yeah. You know, watching Mr. Loro and political defenders like Lindsey Graham, we'll talk about him in a minute, oh. attempt to defend Donald Trump over the last couple of days. It's clear they don't have a lot to work with. Mr. Loro is a real <laughs> attorney, unlike some of the other attorneys that Mr. Trump's yeah. had around him. He was a prosecutor, um, and if he can't seem to come up with a cogent theory of the case of why Donald Trump was uh, acting legally around the 2020 election in the days leading up to January 6, because the evidence in that indictment, the allegations in that indictment are so overwhelming, they're hopscotching around, hoping to find something, yeah. but nothing's hitting yet. Well, they're not, and of course, they're not going to fight anything illegally because oh, they're, they're boxed in illegally. They're going to lose illegally. So what they're trying to do is trying to create something for Chinese uh, religious cults that run uh, conspiracy websites that maybe will catch hold, uh, trial balloons catch hold on, on Fox News and, and, and other networks where they can create an alternative set of facts. So, of course, none of this, none of this has anything to do uh, with defending Donald Trump legally. Right. Because, again, he, can, uh, he, he started out talking about the First Amendment. Okay, that's fine. It's something that you would do if you were in a political debate. But legally, he knows that holds no water. Because, again, at the top of the indictment, what do we have? We have Jackson saying, hey, anybody's free to say what they want to say about the election, even if they want to lie that it was rigged. That's his First Amendment right. That's taken away in the first couple of paragraphs. So they started by talking about the First Amendment. That doesn't hold water. And it's such, such a stupid argument if you actually read this indictment, which a lot of people on Fox News don't. They doodle on it. You know why? Because they don't want to read it. In the Wall Street Journal editorial page today, shameful, shameful. It makes me sad. It's the editorial page I've been reading all my life. They go full. And you never go full Trump. If you're on the Wall Street editorial page, they went full Trump today. You blaming never go it on the, Trump. You never go full mm, Trump. Mm. They blame it on the Democrats and they announce, Willie, you're not going to believe this. They say Joe Biden's old. <laughs> they say Joe Biden's old. So you've got all of this going on. And then you got Lindsey Graham, who's a lawyer, saying, I don't trust juries now. <sighs> so here you have people who said, we don't trust American democracy after Donald Trump loses. And now Fox, some of these people in Fox News, Lindsey Graham, some Republicans are now saying we don't trust the jury system. We don't trust American democracy because Trump lost. And we don't trust the jury system because Donald Trump stole nuclear secrets and he's being held to account for it. And Donald Trump tried to steal an election that they all know he tried to steal. And Lindsey Graham even said, I'm off this train. And then the three people in the hound dog chased him around Washington National Reagan Airport. And he goes, OK, well, I'm back on the train. And it's just it's so bizarre, man. It's so bizarre. They're willing to trash every American institution for a guy that's never been loyal to them. Lindsey Graham said yesterday that. Donald Trump can't get a fair trial in Washington because of the jury pool in Washington. Remember, in the E. Jean Carroll case, the defamation case, when that was decided, Marco Rubio said the jury system is a joke. Another lawyer saying the jury system in the United States is a joke. This is the way it works. You're tried in the it's place sick. where you're alleged to have committed a crime. As E. Jean Carroll's attorney pointed out to us later on Morning Joe, those jurors were not from 
Chelsea and Tribeca. Some of them were from Manhattan, but they were from other places around New York. It's how the jury system works. But what you're hearing is fear from those politicians that if they don't rally to Donald Trump's defense, even on this, even after reading this indictment, that they're going to lose. They're going to lose his voters and they might lose their own power. But after reading <clears throat> this, Mika, after reading people who work for Donald Trump, page after page after page of testimony, people that Donald Trump brought in to his inner circle, people that Donald Trump selected for cabinet members as his White House counsel, all saying the same thing, that Donald Trump tried to steal the election. Even after that, what is worth it for these people? What is it worth for, for the Wall Street Journal editorial page? What is it worth for Lindsey Graham to try to excuse an attempted coup? What's that worth? I just, I must say, sometimes, Mika, you get frustrated because politically I'm too pragmatic. Right. I bend over backwards too hard to you understand do. too many people's views and it frustrates you. I've got to say, in this case, I, there's no getting this. I've been a member of Congress. It's, it's not worth this. It's not worth betraying your country. It's not worth turning a blind eye to a coup. It's not worth going to the best schools in America, getting one of the best editorial jobs in America, reading this and knowing better and trying to blame Donald Trump's attempted coup, of it, uh, 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 coup attempt on Democrats that want to use this in an election? on the Biden crime family, on Joe Biden being old? Come on, man. You're better than that. I know because I know you, because I've been reading your work my whole life, because I served with some of you in Congress through difficult times. You're better than this. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to the Washington Post or the New York Times or MSNBC or CNN. Don't listen to podcast. Just listen to the people who worked for Donald Trump. The people that Donald Trump selected himself. The defendant's vice president who personally stood to remain in office and gain by the defendant's ticket, whom the defendant wanted him to rig the election. Mike Pence refused to the senior leaders of the Justice Department who stood to gain. They wouldn't have been acting attorney generals in the first term or the second term. They would have been the attorney general. They would have run the Justice Department if only they had gone along with Donald Trump's lie. Senior White House attorneys, the people who defended him when he used his office, when he used his office to ignore Congress's authorization of weapons to Ukraine. And he said, no, no to Zelensky. You need to give me dirt on my political opponent or I'm not sending you the weapons. They defended him through that. But here, every senior White House attorney told him he was wrong, that he could not overturn the election and he needed to leave. Senior staffers on his reelection campaign. I mean, come on. This isn't a liberal conspiracy and you could... You can read your Chinese religious cult websites all you want, but you know they're lying to you. You know Kevin McCarthy's lying to you. You know they're all running scared, but scared from what? What are they running from that's more frightening 
than an attempted coup against the United States government, where cops were brutalized, four eventually died. American democracy smeared globally because of one former reality TV host wanting to maintain power and become an authoritarian leader here in the United States. What's worth that? I'd say nothing. Absolutely nothing. And yet, they continue to march America toward the cliff.